Today we are looking at the Osprey Aether AG70, an excellent pack for multi-day backpacking, heavy load haulers, and mountaineering. That's next. Welcome to Backcountry Renegade, I'm Jeff. Today we are looking at the popular Osprey Aether AG70, an excellent pack for long multi-day backpacking, also for mountaineering and for the heavy load hauler. It is built with the anti-gravity suspension system similar to the Atmos, but it's beefed up, so very good for those long and heavy hauls. So let's take a look at it more in depth. Now the Aether comes in either 60 liters, 70 liters, or 85 liters. This one here is a 70 liter version. It comes in also a small, medium, large, or extra large. This one here is the small version, and so it's more like 67 liters. The dimensions of this one is 31.5 inches in height, 15.75 inches in width, and 13.39 inches in diameter. The weight here is also 5.162 pounds, or that's 82.59 ounces. The color options for the Aether 70 comes in orange, blue, or green. It retails for around $310. Now the pack material is a durable material. The main body is 210 denier nylon. The accents are also 210 denier nylon, where the bottom is 500 denier nylon. So very sturdy, durable materials that are used here. It's meant to last and withstand abuse. And as you move through uh, narrow areas, uh, as you're mountaineering, uh, it's abrasion resistant to an extent as well. The load carry is 30 to 60 pounds comfortably. Uh, it's also backed by Osprey's almighty guarantee. Starting in the back, we see what really makes this backpack stand out and we have the anti-gravity suspension system. It's a big and broad spacious back panel. Uh, it's an award-winning anti-gravity suspension system. Now it is a bit different from the Atmos and that's a bit beefier. It's built up to withstand heavier loads. You have a heavy-duty mesh trampoline back panel here that really helps to distribute the weight. It also helps keep the pack away from your body to allow for maximum ventilation. Also, if your pack is packed with a bear canister or something pretty uh, heavy, it you don't have to worry about uh, unnecessary pressure points as a result. The anti-gravity suspension system really helps to distribute the weight throughout into the hips, so it makes it feel like the pack is almost weightless, hence the name anti-gravity. It is a light wire tension full peripheral frame that comfortably transfers the pack load. The hip belt is one that is a bit different. If you're used to other Osprey packs, the hip belt for the Aether is similar to the Atmos in that it is rigid and stiff. The reason is because it's meant to carry 60 to 70% of the pack load and so it helps distribute weight so it's not resting fully on your shoulders. It makes it feel like the pack is hugging around your waist it might be a little difficult at times to put it on, but once it is on, it really feels uh, good. Like, kind of like it's hugging around your waist and it's very comfortable. The suspension is streamlined into the hip belt to provide unmatched weight distribution. You can see the tension here and the stiffness of that hip belt it just really latches uh, forward and bounces back. So once you're in it, it really wraps around your waist very nicely. It is cushioned. Uh, it has a nice lumbar support. The hip belt does have two small pockets as well to help you store things in there for your trips. Now the hip belt is unique in that it comes in different sizes. When you get the small pack, obviously it will come with a small hip belt, but if you buy it in the store, you can transfer that hip belt for a medium or let's say a large. So if you have wider hips but a short torso, you can transfer a larger hip belt in here uh, that is done for free at any Osprey dealer as well. The hip belt will mold to your hips uh, over use. So just use it and it'll mold to your hips. Another thing is if you want to get it molded right away, you can always take it into an Osprey dealer and they have an oven they can mold it. So. The shoulder straps are also really nice. They're padded all the way through and uh, provides extra padding here at the very top 
The nice thing about these shoulder straps is they are adjustable by this Velcro padding here in the middle. You just undo the Velcro and then you can slide these up and down based on your torso size. The Velcro is very sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it slipping even under heavy loads. There are several nice loops on the shoulder straps to allow you to anchor things, such as my Garmin inReach I like to put on here as well. You do have your stow on the go trekking pole attachment, which is on the left uh, shoulder strap, and then you can see it does attach to the front there. You do have load lifter adjusters here on the top to get your ideal uh, load packed and balanced on your shoulders. You also have an adjustable sternum strap with a safety whistle built in. You have access to your water bladder port through here as well as your water bladder is inside the pack. Looking at the top, we also have our lid, also known as a brain. The cool thing about the Aether series is you have two pockets on top of the lid to store things in, but then you also can detach the lid very easily and use it as a day pack. So let's say you're using this to uh, go up on a mountain, you want to summit. Uh, you don't have to take your whole pack. You can take the lid off, use it as a day pack, and it is able to be done very well. And that way you don't have to carry a separate pack just to summit for a day pack. You can leave your main pack at the campsite and take the small day pack up with you for your necessities. The lid can also be completely removed and underneath you have a flap jacket cover where if you choose to go with lighter loads you can use the cover uh, which will cover the contents of the bag so you don't get rain in there. The bag is a top loader so most of your contents will go in the main compartment here which you have this drawstring and as you see and take a look inside there is a lot of room in there. You also have your water bladder uh, sleeve here where you can attach a water bladder and then you have a compression strap where you can compress your load and tighten your load down so anything is not loose inside. Now looking at the front here we do have some nice things as well. You have these compression horizontal straps where you can anchor certain things or compress your load even smaller. Now when you open that up one of the cool things is you do have this sleeve here which has mesh and stretched mesh on the outside but on the inner side you do have this extra nylon so if you want to put crampons or something in there it's not going to puncture through this mesh so that's pretty nice nice as well but because of that nylon it's not going to stretch as much to where if it was all mesh nylon another cool thing is when you detach the front pocket here you do have this J pocket here which gives you access into the main compartment this is really nice especially for these bigger packs when you have things in there that you may need to access mid hike you can just open the J strap and get contents to the middle of your pack without having to uh, unload the whole thing from the top so pretty nice feature there that you have uh, with that J strap there that goes all the way uh, across you also have these sleeping pad straps here which are nice and durable you can attach a sleeping pad uh, on those and then underneath you do have a sleeping bag compartment uh, which is fairly large you can put a nice sleeping bag in there underneath you do have a separator so you can separate your sleeping bag from the main contents it is adjustable and removable if you choose not to use that separator there on the bottom you do have that reinforced nylon and then on these corners you have almost it feels like leather on the bottom here to really reinforce uh, so if you put your bag on rocks or something you have the extra durability here that you're not going to puncture anything on the side you do have these uh, side compression straps you have your upper one and your lower one the lower one can go either above or underneath your side pockets here. Now the side pockets are nice and deep and they're reinforced with nylon. You can put a water bottle in here and you can also put uh, your tent poles in here as well and it's reinforced so they're not going to puncture through the mesh there. You do have these dual ice axe loops. You can go ahead and close your compression straps in the horizontal as aspect here and when you do you also have two bungee tie-offs to tie down those ice axe. The side straps and the sleeping bag straps are removable, so if you decide you do want to do without them, you can lighten your load by taking them off. Overall, this is a very nice all-round pack, 
excellent ventilation, super comfortable, especially with those heavier loads. Cannot go wrong with this. Now, one of the cool features about the Aether, and this is what stands out compared to, let's say, the uh, Atmos or something like that, is the Aether gives you the ability to add on a day pack onto this. So let's say you need an extra 10 or 20 liters. Right here, you have these attachment points. The attachment points will be able to bring uh, a day pack, something like this here. The day pack, you can just basically take that off, put it through this attachment point, buckle it in, cinch it down, and do that for each point here. And now you have a day pack attached to your main compartment, gives you an extra 10 or 20 liters. So if you do need the extra room, let's say you're making an expedition up or near, uh, you can add this to hold, let's say, your extra uh, clothes that you might need. So pretty neat thing that you can add this on. Something that uh, not every pack that Osprey makes is able to do, but the Aether is able to do this. So pretty cool. Again, you have your attachment points here, and then you just attach these side compressing straps here into those, and you're able to withhold that. So the Daylight, Daylight Plus, and also the Osprey Pocket will fit right on there. Now, what I really like about this pack is the weight distribution uh, with the anti-gravity. Very comfortable, it's padded, super nice. Uh, the nice thing about it is the anti-gravity takes a lot of the weight that you're normally used to in your pack from your shoulders to the hips. So it's a lot more tolerable, especially if you're going up inclines, climbing mountains. So it's a, a great pack for mountaineering and uh, heavy load hauling. Uh, so I definitely like it for that. Now, a little bit of the cons. The pack does weigh heavier uh, because of the anti-gravity beefed up suspension system. Uh, the pack is heavier. Also, the materials that are used are more durable materials. So it is a heavier pack overall. But since the weight is being distribution to your hips, it's not as noticeable as, say, another pack that didn't have an a anti-gravity suspension system in it. So another con that I would say about the pack is uh, the rigid hip belt. It's very stiff, very rigid, uh, feels like a clam wrapping around your waist, and so it takes some getting used to. So if you're used to more of a looser, flexible hip belt, um, this is going to take some getting used to for sure. Makes it a little hard to, to put on the pack at first, but once it's on, once it's really hugging around your body, it makes it a lot more comfortable to really bear the weight uh, for the long haul. So really something to get used to. Uh, overall, uh, pros and cons about it. Um, something you just have to weigh out and see if that's what you want for yourself. So what do you think of the Osprey Aether AG70? Is this a pack you would go with? If not, what else would you choose in its place? Leave me a comment in the comments section. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.